Hey, it's Zach McLean with Vital Energy Chiropractic. Let's talk about targets or goals. And a lot of people resist the word goals and they don't like setting goals or people say, I don't do New Year's resolutions, that's not for me. But understand that there's a lot of different ways that you can set goals and a lot of ways you can go through the process. And the goal itself is not the thing, it's the process. Meaning, if I set a goal to gain 10 pounds or to lose 10 pounds or to make more money, um, to work on my budget, whatever the case is, I can't control, for example, the weight on the scale. All I can control is my activity. I can control how much I eat or how much I don't eat. I can um, control how much I work out. So one idea to think about with your goals is to change the way that you look at goals. So let's say, for example, I give you two examples here. If you're trying to lose weight, rather than setting a goal, and you can still have the goal, say, now I want to lose 10 pounds or 50 pounds or whatever that number is, but what in addition to that or separate for that, set the goal that your goal is to work out four times a week or five times a week or to work out at a certain intensity. I just reset my goal for fitness to be able to work at a higher intensity. Okay. So the goal is, okay, for the next four weeks, I'm going to work out five days per week for 20 minutes or more. I'm going to do these activities. I'm going to lift weights four days a week and I'm going to ride a bike one day a week or whatever. So that's your goal. And then you just focus on that. Now, you may still have the overriding goal of trying to lose the weight, but your goal is just to get those activities done. Okay, now if you reach your goal or you don't reach your goal, you can look back and say, okay, here's the activities that I did, and I'm either closer to my goal or I'm not. So it means that activity worked, and I just need to do it longer, or it worked a little bit, I just need to refine it, or it didn't work at all, so I need to change my approach. It's not a failure, it's just learning along the way, okay? So um, another goal could be, let's say you've got a symptom or condition that you're trying to resolve. Headaches, sinus problems, fatigue, high blood pressure, acid reflux. So rather than focusing on the symptom of the disease, this is the medical approach, which is I'm going to treat the acid reflux, I'm going to treat the headaches, try to address the cause. So with headaches, for example, we know chiropractic has been tremendously effective as far as um, getting the spine and nervous system work better and then those headaches resolving. So I'm going to set a goal of doing my chiropractic adjustments. I'm going to make all of my adjustment appointments. I'm going to do my spinal rehab twice a day or whatever your prescribed rehab is. I'm going to do my wobble seat. I'm going to do my traction and I'm going to drink X amount of water every single day. Those are the things I want to focus on for the next four weeks. And then you can look back and okay, I used to have headaches every single day. Now my headaches are down to twice per week or they're totally gone. Or if that hasn't worked, okay, those things are all making me healthier. That's the cool thing too, is that even if those things don't quote unquote fix your headaches, you're still, you're still gonna be healthier. If you take a medication, you're just gonna have still whatever causes the headaches plus the side effects of the medications, okay? So if those things don't resolve your symptom or issue, you may wanna still keep doing those things to keep yourself healthier. But now in addition, you also might have to say, okay, now I've got to, I'm gonna cut out my caffeine and see if that makes a difference. Or I'm going to increase my amount of exercise I'm doing per day. So the point is, is that you can, a lot of different ways that you can set goals, but a goal of a process can be really, really effective. Like if, if you need any help on this, please let us know.